Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the Chariot Digital. Uh, in our last video, I showed you how to upload simple products in bulk on WooCommerce. So today I'll guide you uh, through the process of uploading variable products in bulk on WooCommerce and you will need no plugin for that. It's a simple process on uh, you can do it through Excel file. Uh, I have already created an Excel file in CSV format and you can also download it from the link I have provided in the description. This template includes the most useful columns you will need for any product upload. Uh, it will save your time and effort. You can download it easily. So let's start. The first column you can see here is ID, which is very crucial. WooCommerce uh, actually assigns IDs automatically after you upload product, uh, which is useful for updating existing products. So for new products, assign the latest ID number. Let's ch check the latest uh, product ID number from your WooCommerce uh, dashboard. Uh, I have 9829. So we will assign the latest number. Let's say I have an ID now 9829 already. So I'll assign 9831. Okay, the next column is type. I remember there are two key terms variable and variation uh, I am uploading a hoodie uh, which is available in two colors black and purple so hoodie will be variable and black and purple will be its variations so in type I'll type variable and in SKU you can provide if you have any SKU or you can leave it blank it's up to you so I'm leaving it blank and name you can provide let's say I'm providing chariot hoodie and published uh, remember uh, on on this file one as yes and zero as no so for yes you can type 1 uh, if you want it to be featured then yeah 1 or if you don't you can just leave it blank as well visibility it will be visible and in short description you can provide any short description if you want and uh, this is the description yeah, you can provide complete details in the description and the next column is in a stock so one will be defined as yes and zero as no if you type zero here it will be out of stock it will show out of stock on your website and if you type one it will be in stock obviously and the stock here you can manage the stock that how many pieces you have uh, in stock but the leave it empty in the variable we will add it in the variation so leave it empty here sale price if you have products on sale let's say i i will sell my hoodie or for 50 dollars and i put 50 percent sale 25 is the sale price okay the next is category uh, let's say i assign this in man fashion or if you have uh, multiple categories you can just uh, simply put comma and then assign if you have one more category or multiple just uh, type comma between them mm, so I'll assign one more category let's say hoodie okay next is images 
uh, I have uh, uploaded all the images uh, in bulk uh, in the media library of uh, WooCommerce. You can also upload all the images in bulk here. So it will be easy for you to just copy the links. So I'll provide, let's say I'm selling. Yeah, here it is. Just copy the URL here. Just copy this and paste it in this column. And for the parent, uh, leave it empty. And for pos position, just type zero. And this is attribute name. So let's say I have two colors, so I will give the name select color to this and in values I will mention the variation let's say black and purple and for the visible one as yes so I'm gonna copy this entire row and I have two variations so I'll paste it twice and now just uh, I will edit this ID column from variable I'll change it to variation also change the name um, a bit let's say this is black and uh, this will be purple yes 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 no nothing to change uh, just remove the description in the variation and here you can manage the stock let's say I have uh, 10 pieces in black and in purple I have 5 and for sales price uh, if I want to change the price for a specific product a specific variation I can do that let's say I'll sell black for 30 on sale and this for 25 leave. yeah uh, same categories or you can just uh, remove them as well because we have already assigned it on variable yeah and for the images you can copy for example for black I want to show the different image when someone selects the product and uh, for purple let's copy this then now we have the parent column uh, which is very important and it will link your variation to variable so for linking it go to the ID here and copy this ID of variable and paste it in the parent column and then edit it type ID in column like this just type ID and then the ID of variable product which you want to link copy the same to purple as well and in position you can select the sequence position let's say one and two it will be same the name will be same and here I will assign this is black and this is purple and the rest is same let's just save the file and upload uh, wait uh, let me just correct the spelling of uh, visible just make sure the spellings are correct okay now it is saved so let's open from here all products uh, go to the products and go to the import option here upload your saved file and do not check this uh, as it is for existing products update and we are just uploading new pro new products so we don't need it just continue
and run the run the importer. Let's uh, check. Yeah, here you go. Import complete. Let's uh, view the products. Yeah, here it is. You can see. Uh, let's view this product. Yeah, here you can see everything has been uploaded.